do want to preface this by saying I don't like slash can't eat spicy things. Um, I have the same medical condition that Corpse has, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, but mine did not give me a sick voice. So, unfortunately, uh, for all you spicy things lovers, it's more for you. Let's reframe it as it's more for you. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Uh, we have S, A, B, C, D, never had, would try, and never had, and never will. So, oh, and another thing before we start, let me show you a zoomed in uh, picture of all the chips because they look kind of small at the bottom. Uh, so that's what we're working with, and you might hear me <laughs> clicking and scrolling on my second monitor to see what in the world these things are. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we are starting off very strong here with Cheetos. Uh, these are the crunchy Cheetos. Um, I actually prefer these over the puffs, so these are going to go into A tier. Delicious. These next ones are spicy, sweet, chili Doritos. Um, I love the color of the bag, but unfortunately, if they are spicy, I cannot eat them. I will not try them. Alright, this next one is quite possibly my favorite in this entire list. It only really has one competitor. So, these are the Honey Barbecue Flavor Twist Fritos. Oh my gosh, these things are so good and so addictive. They are S tier, quite possibly the highest rank of this whole list. So, we'll see, we'll see. Alright. Next is Funyuns. Delicious. Love these things. However, they make your breath absolutely disgusting <laughs> after eating them, so I think they're a perfect candidate for B. They are very good. I like them a lot. Oh, now we're getting into the sad territory here. We've got some barbecue baked lays. No, they just, they're just not the same. They're just really not the same. So, they are gonna go into D. Next up is Bugles. Oh, very fond childhood memories of putting them on the ends of my fingers, as I'm sure most kids did, and perhaps some adults. Uh, they also taste amazing, so definitely a tier for bugles. Next we have, is this a kettle chip? Yep, Cape Cod kettle cooked chips. Uh, these do not do it for me. Um, I like kettle chips in very rare circumstances, so we're just gonna go ahead and put this one in D. They're a little too crunchy for my taste. Sorry, flaming Hot Cheetos, you're going down here. Again, more for you guys. Whoever likes these things, more for you. Cheeto Puffs. Now, as I said, crunchy Cheetos are my preference. Therefore, these can safely go into B tier. Alright, hot and spicy Cheez-Its. More for you guys. No worries there. White cheddar Cheez-Its. <laughs> now, I'm gonna look like a hypocrite when we get down <laughs> to the end of this list. But these things are not good. I have had them, and I do not like them. Therefore, they are going in D tier. Alright, then we have regular Cheez-Its. I do like these quite a bit. I'm struggling to put them either in A or B. I think we're gonna go B for original Cheez-Its. Oh man, this is making me hungry. <laughs> Alright, we have Bold and Traditional Chex Mix next. Mm, that's tough. That's tough. Do they both go in the same category or not? Hmm. The bold one. 
ones, they taste good to start, but the more you eat them, the stronger that flavor gets, and it's a little overpowering. But normal Chex Mix can get a little bland after a while, so it's like, mm, kind of two different ends of the spectrum there. But I do like them both, don't get me wrong. Is this C or B? Mm, we'll go B for both. Chex Mix is solidly in B tier. Alright, next we have mm -mm, no cheddar cheese combos. More for you guys. However, these are what? Pepperoni pizza combos. I would try these. I would try these. So they are our first one in the never had would try column or row. Um, it just sounds interesting to me. Alright, next ooh, we've got the Doritos. We already had some Doritos, but this is the rest of them. Alright, I've been doing a little bit of thinking on this, and I think I've come to a conclusion in my mind. Cool Ranch Doritos are amazing, but original Doritos are better. Therefore, these will go... Let's see. Our normal Doritos S tier. Ooh, you know what? They are. So we're going to bump up Cool Ranch Doritos to A, and we're going to put regular Doritos in S tier because I do think the original is better than Cool Ranch. Nothing so far in C tier. I guess we'll get there eventually. All right, next, what is this? Salsa Verde. It sounds kind of interesting, but with the fire on the chips, I probably can't eat it, so I'll put it down there. These I've never heard of before. These are taco flavored Doritos. I would 100% try these. I've never seen them. I've never heard of them at all. So that sounds really fun. Would definitely try those. What is all this? Ranch dipped hot wings. Uh, more for you guys. Hey, more for you guys. Throw a party. It's all good. All right. This next one is the only competition that the Honey Barbecue Flavor Twist Fritos have. It is the Chili Cheese Fritos. These things are excellent. I love the flavor of these chips. So now I have to decide which one is better. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's such a hard decision. I think that these will still be the top. I do. And these are just edged out barely, barely, barely. I think I just must like Fritos. But uh, these things are incredible. S tier for sure for the chili cheese Fritos. Regular Fritos. Um, very versatile. They go in all sorts of things. You can put them in casseroles. You can put them in anything. You can dip them in soda. Doesn't matter. They're still delicious. Yes, that is something I've done. Um, a or B for regular Fritos. A or B. I think we can safely go A for regular Fritos. Gardettos. Now, these things are Chex Mix Plus. I like these a lot more than Chex Mix. So, now I'm trying to decide if they're S tier or A tier. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go A tier only because the little brown chips, the rye chips, are not my favorite. Um, when I lived with my parents, um, I would pick out all of the rye chips for my dad and put them in a Ziploc for him to eat because they're his all-time favorite. 
so we can definitely go A tier on Gardetto's flavor blasted goldfish now back when I lived with my parents um, my mom would get flavor blasted pretzel and the colorful kind of goldfish and mix them together in a gigantic Ziploc bag and oh my gosh it was so much fun and it was so delicious so I would never eat these like by themselves but in the mix they were really good so I think that we can go B tier with flavor blasted goldfish very similar I think we can go B tier for regular goldfish they're a little plain it's very much like the bold and traditional Chex Mix one is too much and the other is not enough so I think that's perfect for B tier but mixed together they're very good oh what is this nonsense we've got mm, harvest cheddar sun chips no I do not like sun chips or regular sun chips on here I thought they had a blue bag we do have another flavor of sun chips but mm, sorry for any sun chip lovers out there but they are not my jam all right this next one I can see it says flaming hot so we will put it into the more for you guys category sea salt and vinegar no thank you the flavor is so strong but not in a good way i've had maybe not these also i think does it say kettle oh that's even worse i've had salt and vinegar chips before i've tried them oh just they're sour like oh it's not something i enjoy so i would absolutely not try those baked lays mm -mm -mm. nope they just lack the point of potato chips is not to be healthy it's to live a little it's a treat you know so this defeats the entire purpose of a chip d tier barbecue lays Ooh, these are good safely go B tier for barbecue lays I think I like barbecue ruffles better and they're not even on this list interesting okay got it kettle cooked nope uh, what is this mesquite barbecue nope mm, too crunchy too much too much more for you guys oh here we go this is another one of my all-time favorites sour cream and onion lays these are so good I love like having these alongside like a barbecue sandwich or something like that they are just so delicious sour cream and onion lays are S tier for sure classic lays Wow, I myself would never pick up a bag of just plain Lay's chips, but they're not horrible, like especially if you have a dip or something. This might be our first C. Yeah, you know what? I feel good about that. Classic Lay's goes into C tier. It's not bad, but it's also not great. It's very middle of the road. Here we have something that looks like flaming hot munchies. We will go no thank you on those. All right, and this next one is munchies cheese fix. 
It has Sun Chips, Doritos, Pretzels, and Cheetos in it. I like three of the four elements of that. So we can put that in, never had, but would try. I'll just leave the Sun Chips for somebody else. <laughs> All right. Salt and vinegar again. I am not a fan of salt and vinegar. Boy, this category is getting full. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, pork skins. Oh my gosh. What a rare treat. Makes me want to go to the store and pick up a bag. I can't remember the last time I've had pork skins, but dang, they're good. I think, I think B tier for these. Made my mouth water just thinking about them. <laughs> Alright, pizza Pringles. Pizza Pringles. Pizza Pringles. I would try these. I've never had them. Sour cream and onion Pringles are D tier. They do not have the same flavor that the Lay's does. There's something very specific and very good about the way that Lay's chips do sour cream and onion, and Pringles do not get there. They do not. All right, just plain old pretzels. This is another great candidate for the C tier. There, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. It's just I would not actively seek them out, like looking at this bag. This bag makes me think of flying on an airplane. Um, so pretzels are great, but uh, they're not these types of chips great. What is this next one? Cheddar and sour cream ruffles, no thanks. I should have named this no thanks. <laughs> That would have been even better. Sour cream and onion ruffles. Again, they do not reach the level of Lay's. So, I think we can go C tier for sour cream and onion ruffles. There's a big difference between these three. Ooh, white cheddar popcorn. Oh my gosh, I could munch on this all day long. It is so good and so tasty. I think even though the little popcorn kernels get stuck in my teeth so bad, I think it's worth it. S tier for white cheddar popcorn. Delicious. Alright, hot and spicy pork skins, no thank you. There's a funny story with these though, maybe not these in particular. One time I was on vacation with my family, we were staying in a hotel. My brother and my dad love spicy stuff, um, so they picked up a microwavable bag of spicy pork skins. They threw it in the microwave, warmed it up or whatever. They both had some, and immediately they were running to the bathroom to grab their toothbrush. They said it was the spiciest thing they'd ever had in their life. And they were trying to wash out the spice from their mouth. <laughs> I just laugh every time I think of that. Oh my gosh, just deceptively spicy. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, sorry, this is not sour cream, is it? It is French onion sun chips. No. Takis. No. More for AGN. I think he does uh, <laughs> um, mukbangs with these. Tostitos. Delicious. Yes. So, in our house, we normally get the scoops because I love how you can just throw taco stuff into them and then it's like a tiny little crunchy taco. Um, Tostitos are great. Uh, so we'll go B tier for those. These 
these I'd never heard of. These are Salsa Ranchera Tostitos. That sounds amazing. So I would 100% try those. I'm going to be looking for them, in fact. All right, Triscuits. Mm, plain Triscuits. They come in such good flavors. The pepper one is the best. Pepper, 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 pepper. They are so good. But be careful when you inhale when you eat them because you can most certainly inhale some pepper. Don't ask me how I know that. All right, so plain Triscuits are perfectly fine in C tier. If you start to add some flavoring, we can definitely bump them up. Oh, veggie straws. So these are really good. I really like these. The only problem is they don't fill me up very much. I guess that's not really the point of a chip, is it? But things like, let's say, Triscuits or Cheez-Its have a little bit more heft to them. Gardettos, maybe. Um, and they fill you up. But these do not do that at all. But they taste really good. So let's go A tier for veggie straws. Because I like them a lot. And then finally, what is this jalapeno kettle cooked? Oh my goodness, no. So this is our final list. I'm going to take out this bottom one. Let's see if we can zoom in enough to take it out. <laughs> We've got the emojis at the top. Perfect. All right, and this is my final list. Again, the honey barbecue Fritos are basically unmatched in how good they are. Um, chili cheese Fritos are very close. Normal Doritos are delicious. Sour cream and onion lays are amazing. And white cheddar popcorn is so good. Then in A tier, we have some of my other favorites. B tier, these are things that I would absolutely eat, but maybe not, you know, my first choice. C is like, if it's there, I might eat it, but it's definitely not my favorite. In the, uh, in most cases, actually, if they were a different flavor, they would 100% be moved up a tier. D tier, I would never eat these again. They are not good at all. And then these, I would love to try. They sound really interesting. The taco flavored Doritos and the salsa Tostitos, that sounds so cool. So anyway, guys, that is my chips tier list. Let me know what you think, if there's anything that you just cannot believe I put where I put it. <laughs> Let me know. That's one of the really fun things about tier lists, because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Everybody has wildly different tastes, and it makes it so much fun. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will catch 